what's up everybody back again so first I want to apologize for how long it's been since I put out a video I know it's been a little while some things have been going on things like that um, and one more apology um, so this video is gonna have like some kind of wacky footage in it I'm not really happy with any of the footage I got I was just kind of trying to get the job done and um, th you know the evidence is in the footage so um, basically in this video you're gonna see me cleaning the carpet uh, I pulled it out pressure washed it and um, I tried dyeing it with RIT dye at first, and it didn't really work out too well. It was kind of more like a dark gray than a black. So what I ended up doing was uh, using Duplicolor vinyl and fabric spray paint, which spray paint isn't really exact word. Um, it's more like a dye in an aerosol can, and it came out fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'll just go ahead and roll some clips and show you what I did. And uh, again, sorry for the delay in the video, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks for uh, watching. A few moments later. Today we are going to be restoring this carpet. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean it up and get all the funk out of it and pressure wash it, dry it, and then I'm going to dye it black. I um, haven't exactly decided on the method of dyeing yet, but I'm going to pick up a whole bunch of interior parts on Saturday morning. Um, it's Thursday morning right now, and I can't do anything with uh, the interior until this carpet's back in. So, being that this is actually in pretty good shape, it's not actually torn or anything like that. It's actually pretty decent. It's just filthy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, clean this up and get it all back in the car. Um, yeah, and dye it black. And we should have an interior by Saturday uh, evening. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. And uh, we'll be back when I'm done. And it goes a little something like this. Like this. Like guys that is one steaming trash can full of 240SX carpet uh, with a lot of black dye so I decided to go ahead and fill up this trash can tonight and I'm just gonna let that damn thing marinate all night then tomorrow I'm gonna wake up should have some damn black carpet I used five bottles of RIT dye and one package of powder stirred it up hella good and got that fucking black soup in there that's uh, just going to do its magic. And hopefully I pull out a black carpet tomorrow and not a gray one. So we'll see. The next day. Okay, so I kind of want to go over what's been going on with the carpet. Um, basically, I decided I'm going to keep it. And the reason for that is, is once I pulled it out... I went ahead and looked it over real good and I realized it's actually in fantastic, fantastic condition. Uh, there's no real signs of wear or any holes in it or anything like that. Um, so I decided to pressure wash it. And when I pressure washed it, it obviously had a bunch of filthy water and brown goop that came out of it. So what I did after I pressure washed it was I vacuumed it clean after it dried. And then I put it in a trash can full of RIT dye and this is like fabric dye um, you can get it at Walmart or just about anywhere pretty much uh, I used six bottles of it and filled up that entire trash can full of water and I let my carpet sit in it overnight um, pulled it out this morning rinsed it all off real good and this is what I got now it's not black but it's uh, a really dark gray it's actually much much darker than the original carpet was but I'm still not happy with it I want black so what I'm doing now is I got this stuff here and I got myself a nice little brush um, this is important you need a brush that's got moderately 
uh, stiff bristles like you don't you actually don't want really stiff um, you want it to be kind of soft so I went and bought this one here I got it at O'Reilly Auto Parts and uh, basically what you're gonna do is as you apply the coats of this Duplicolor stuff to it um, you're gonna want to let it dry and then you brush it and what that'll do is it'll separate the fiber so it doesn't get clumpy and hard and gross so I went ahead and did a little test spot one coat right there and that's a whole lot closer that's only you know like I said one light spray so it's a whole lot closer to black and uh, that's where I'm going with this from now on I'm gonna try this uh, hopefully I mean I've heard good things about this stuff here um, there are some reviews out there that say it rubs off uh, some say that it makes the carpet feel stiff and clumpy uh, that honestly makes me think that the people didn't brush it because I've heard many many more reviews that state quite the opposite that the stuff's been on their carpet for like five years and their carpet feels completely natural uh, things like that so I'm gonna go ahead and take a gamble with this because I originally was just gonna replace this carpet all together in the beginning uh, but I think I'm gonna keep it now and uh, I will be leaving a review um, obviously in this video series but you know and give you guys an idea of how it's gonna turn out as well and you know throughout my build progress you'll see how it holds up and things like that now when it comes to areas like this uh, pad here it's gonna stick super well to that I'm not even concerned about that but it'll be nice to have that black um, but as you can see this is just dark gray it's not anywhere near the color I was hoping I would get after you know 12 hours of sitting in black dye but uh, I rinsed it out real good it still needs to dry a little bit um, down in this area here where the water obviously gravity feeds it down there and it kind of pools up so I've been patting that dry every 15 minutes or so and uh, blowing it off with the air compressor here but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, apply a thin coat of this to the top middle section the part that sits under the console and I'm basically gonna paint that all the way up and and uh, see if I like how it turns out that way it's in an area that you can't see if I don't like it and if it works from there I'm gonna do the uh, the whole carpet so yeah stick around and I'll go ahead and get this going all right so I've gone ahead and dried uh, at least this side of the carpet it's completely dry I blew it off with the air compressor uh, I hit it with the brush and now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a coat of uh, this duplicolor paint to it so here we go <laughs> I know this video has been kind of lackluster in content and it's kind of been all over the place. I apologize about that. Uh, one, I'm new to this. Two, um, it's kind of difficult for me to film stuff. I just got a tripod, so the next video should have more content of me actually doing things and stuff like that. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys some photos of the finished product because I didn't really get anything recorded of it. And the carpet is actually in the car at the time of recording this. So I wanted to just uh, show you guys what I did with the carpet and what it looks like in the car. And in the next video, I will be on my way to Orlando to pick up some parts for the car. Um, 
bumper, fenders, interior panels, things like that. I basically have a full interior at this point. Uh, so the next video should be me assembling that and getting things together. Um, other than that, thanks for watching and uh, tune into the next video. Should be up in within a week or so.